Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And taking a look at our recruiting board, we've had a few commits since the last time we've looked. So let's just take a look here to see who's coming to our team. So our top recruit, Lewis Parker, he is a Juco. He is coming in at 79 overall outside linebacker. He is a shoe in to start for sure. 87 hit power, 80 pursuit, 99 excel. I don't have to say much more than that. 85 speed. So he's going to be a force on our defense for the next two years. And we have a pair of relatives. Ashton Cohen, the quarterback. He's actually a Juco quarterback. 69 overall, 85 throw power, 73 accuracy. And he actually can run the ball too. He's got 75 speed. So he's going to bring a dynamic as far as running and throwing the ball. Something that uh, Wolf actually does for us right now. But Cohen looks a little better. Justin Washington, um, a receiver. And he's going to be a freshman coming in. He's not a Juco 5'9", 200. He's actually a big guy for being so small. But he's got 90 speed, 81 excel. He looks like he could possibly play a little bit of running back because he's got some ball carrier vision. His elusiveness, elusiveness is a little low. But, I mean... We'll see. We might line up him up in the backfield. He's definitely going to be our fastest receiver right now. So I don't know. We'll, we're definitely going to work him into the office some into the offense somehow. But we'll see. Vince Cohen was the other guy I was talking about, and he, I mentioned this guy to you guys a couple weeks ago, and. He's got 90 excel or 92 excel, 90 speed. He does look like a safety. More and more I look look at him, he looks like a safety. He's got some ball skills. He's got some tackling skills. So he might be just a safety. And plus, I need a safety uh, with our safeties graduating. Adam Grant at tackle, uh, 69 overall tackle, the punter, and then Josh Dunbar run, rounded out. So let's look at the top of our board. Ben Miller, a top tight end, 47% locked here. He's actually the, I think he's in the Spark 100. He's number nine tight end, 6'5", 230. He's decent. I mean, look at him. He's 84 speed for all of his ball skills, 80 everything pretty much. Kevin Oliver is a nice little uh, route runner. He's got 82 route running, 87 in spec tack, 72 catching. And he's an athlete, so he's going to come in right away uh, as a freshman. So we got four years out of him. Alex Brown, a speedster. I found him a couple weeks ago, 95 speed. 82 zones so 80 man i mean he's gonna be a decent corner and he's gonna be a freshman so uh it doesn't look like he's gonna play offense at all really i mean he's got some ball carrier moves he might i mean if i need a running back he might play running back but i mean he, it looks like he's gonna play defense because he's got some 80 uh cover skills so pat cobbs up next um, he's got 72 speed, 89 excel. Uh, he is going to be a freshman as well. He's an athlete. Uh, he's got hit power, 79, tackle, 72. He doesn't have the coverage skills, so that's why it looks like he's going to be a linebacker. Maybe he's going to be a pass rusher of some sort. Maybe he is a pass rushing specialist because he's got power moves, finesse moves, and block shedding as well. Jonathan Sullivan. So this is a guy that I actually found. He's pretty interesting. He's got 68 speed, but he's got the size you want in a quarterback. 6'4", 194 and he's going to be a freshman he's got 86 throw power 73 accuracy so he kind of competes with uh cohen that uh already committed to our school at quarterback so he's it's going to be interesting to see if we either redshirt him for another year or let the juco play i don't know chad ball receiver juco 73 overall He's going to be probably our best receiver. He's got 72 catching, which is kind of low, but he's got 78 route running, but he's got the 93 speed and 88 excel. So he's going to be able to separate early. It looks like we're a lock for him. All these guys, I mean, if you look at all these guys, we're pretty much in the lead for all these guys except Bo Anderson and Jonathan Sullivan, who he's going to eventually move up a little bit. We See, we've made 585 point difference. Chris Thomas, who has actually been on my board the whole season, but I just never went after him. He's a juke D tackle, uh, but he's 78 overall, 86. Look at this 86 power moves, 87 finesse moves, 79 block sheds. So he's gonna be a force in the middle of the field. We do have Darby, who's 67 overall right now. So maybe we can sl slide one of these guys to D end because we're gonna have two D tackles in a 3 4 scheme. But this week we're going up against uh washington so <laughs> another tough opponent coming up i mean this is gonna be a handful we did play play them when we had the indiana hoosiers dynasty but we haven't played them with this horrible team that we have so browning 17 touchdowns four interceptions 
Gaskins got 574 yards on the season, five touchdowns, and Pettis. Pettis has 10 touchdowns, so he has 10 of his 17 touchdowns. So Pettis is definitely somebody to look out for. So let's get into this gameplay. Let's go. So before hopping into this gameplay, remember, look at the name of this video. This is your chance to be a recruit. Look at this. Right off the bat, a kick return for a touchdown. But anyway, back to the main subject here. This is your chance to be a recruit. Submit your information in the comment section. So give me your first name, last name, position, height, weight, ethnicity, whether you want to be, you know, you can be darker skinned, fair skinned, you can be Latino, you can be Hawaiian, whatever you want to be. I'm not guaranteed that you're going to be included in this recruiting class but i'm gonna try to get as many people as i can and i will try to get you all added to my recruiting board but if there's a lot of like running backs or a lot of receivers i can't guarantee that you will all be added to my recruiting board but i'm gonna try to get as many out into the ncaa uh database as i can and so that you know you can possibly go to other schools and be top recruit somewhere else or i'm not gonna make anybody it's gonna be once in about uh, i don't want to say a number but once in a good handful will there be like a really really good prospect one of you guys will be like really good but we'll see i mean you guys get to determine you know what you want to be so also you need to determine your specialty i mean if you're a receiver are you a red zone threat are you a speedster are you a route runner? Are you a possession guy? And you never know because depending on how you say you are, Bruh. these rays are going to be pretty realistic. I'm going to make it so if you're a red zone threat, well, you're not going to have that high of speed. I mean, you're just going to be a red zone threat. You're going to be a guy that can go up and get it. You're going to have probably high jumping, high catch in traffic, high spectacular catch, but other things might be lower. So um are you a well-rounded receiver are you a well-rounded cornerback can you cover man are you just a richard sherman can you play well on one side of the field can you are you chris harris jr are you great in man coverage i mean are you darrell reeves are you that all-around guy i mean i don't know i mean are you or are you a pass rushing specialist as a dn are you J.J. Watt who can stuff the run and stuff the pass? I mean, Bruh. it's got to be, you got to be specific with it. I mean, like how, what, what's your specialty? I mean, don't, you know, write a full paragraph on what your specialty is, but give me just like a small, a small description of what kind of player you are. I mean, are you fast? I mean, are you, is your game predicated off of speed? If you're a quarterback, are you just a smart quarterback that makes good reads and good throws? Or do you have the arm strength but not so good of accuracy? I mean, I just want to know, what kind of player are you? Are you that tight end that can block? Are you a tight end that can run routes? Are you, you know, a Eric Ebron who may have big flashes of, at being a tight end, but sometimes it's just like, huh, like it just, it's just frustrating. I mean, let me know what kind of player you are. And maybe there's even offensive linemen. Are you a, are you a Lane Johnson? Are you like one in a generation player who who has the speed at offensive linemen? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, you determine what kind of player you are, or are you a special teamer? You could just be a cornerback who's just great at returning kicks. I mean, you can be any any kind of one of these guys. I mean, you determine who you are. Just know that the more unique you are the more likely you are to be added to the board because i can write a story out of you guys i mean honestly like i said you guys dictate a lot of things in this dynasty you guys determine what's going on and i want you guys to be involved so create yourself let me know who you want to be who you want to be shaped out to be what kind of player you want to be because it's not just my team that you might get, be committing to I might get you, I might not. I mean, there might be teams that go after you, might be schools that go after you. But, I mean, if I don't get you, maybe another school will get you and they'll get a good use out of you. So, you determine what kind of player you'll be. I'm going to follow all you guys throughout uh, this dynasty and see where you guys land. I mean, you might land at Georgia. You might land at, you know, Idaho. You might land at Appalachian State. You might land at Alabama. So, I mean, you never know. So submit where you're from. Also, I'll have a I'll have a brief description of like the template I want you guys to use. But you know, let me know. I want I want this to be cool. I want this to be fun. 
I want you guys to be in the game, into it, and I want you guys to see yourself. So here we go, man. Let's hop back into this gameplay. As you can see, man, we had we were having a rough going in this first half, and this is Washington. So uh, we need one more game to be bowl eligible. Remember, we started 0-4 to 4-4, and but look at this, man. A throw across the middle, and Spencer, I misjudged that one, and Spencer cannot get to the interception, and Jake Browning takes advantage running to the left side and this is a 34 to 10 game going into halftime and at this point I mean we're just trying to not make it a blowout just try to get some points on the board so here's Donnie Wolf throwing over the middle making Wayne Miller get punished on that one so we do punt it away and Gaskin remember Gaskin from the Indiana Hoosiers dynasty we played them uh, in that dynasty and he just straight killed us but this time Jake Browning breaking a couple tackles but we finally do get to him and this time it's the Washington defense I mean they are just showing up I mean we we've had a few turnovers already but back on offense Donnie Wolf finding Keon Medley putting on a spin move that time can't get free from the tackle so on a 13 yard reception Facing a third and six, and look at that. Donnie Wolf cannot make the accurate throw on that one, so that one's out of bounds. So we do settle for the field goal because, I mean, what's the point of even going for it this time? Because we're down 34 to 10. Might as well just take the point. So Browning leads this wide hit offense back onto the field. Two and a half minutes left in this third quarter. And once again on a first down, throwing to Dante Pettis, his favorite target so far this year and on a second and one throwing back to the outside Chico McClatcher that's a great name to have and on a third and 11 we do get him to a third and 11 finding Chico McClatcher again so now Jake Brown is just moving the ball with ease on this drive and Gaskin look at this breaking all kinds of tackles getting into the end zone and this is just turning into an embarrassment. It is 41 to 13 here to start the fourth quarter. And Donnie Wolf rolling out to the right, getting hit on the throw that time. And that one's going to be another interception and four turnovers for this Washington defense. And man, that's going to be it for this game. 48 to 13. And you know what's funny about this is that Donnie Wolf. You know, he was just getting going in this new playbook, this new system, but I actually did tweak the sliders a little bit. I put the computer pass coverage and rush defense up five, so now it's at 80 for each. Uh, I did tone it down a bit because I was I was thinking that it was a little too power, overpowering, so I uh, toned it down a little bit, but I put it back to 80, and I think this showed. I mean, this is good. This is good, though. I mean, you want it to be challenging. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Remember, fill out the recruiting form. You want to be in this game, man. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss your opportunity to be in this game. So let's get it. Let's move on to the next week. Tough loss, but it was expected. So let's go.